Eric Musselman told us a story today that you guys uh, had an 8 a.m. Uh, shoot around slot Saturday morning because you couldn't do a Friday because there's a concert. And he was just thought, you know, I don't want to get the guys up front. I'm just going to let them sleep in. So he sent out a group text, and Mason called him maybe after talking to you other guys and said, Coach, we want to we want to have the shoot around. What, what can you tell us about that? Uh, we knew, like, uh, you know, it comes with being great. You know, you got to sacrifice the little things. You know, uh, getting rest and we wanted to get up, get going, get our blood going, you know, um, just get the schemes of the game, get the feel of the court, you know, things like that. So we, we made the that choice to get up early. Was that something you guys talked about and then uh, Mason called Eric or kind of how did that? No, uh, yeah, yeah, we talked about it and we was like, yeah, we, we really want to turn this thing around. We really want to, you know, we're not going to take it lightly just because yeah. of who we playing and what we playing. Yeah. We, we want to come and win. Eric said probably 99% of the teams would say, oh, man, we get to sleep in. That's cool. Uh, so I guess I put you guys to the 1% that say, no, we want to get up and nah, shoot. Yeah, we want to get up and shoot. We want, we want to get a feel for the arena. What do you think that says about you guys as a team? Uh, we determine, you know, we, we got, you know, but this, it comes with the road. We got a few bumps in the road, but we want to learn from it and, uh, you know, get better each and every game. And you guys have, have won a lot of big games on the road, especially after losses. What do you think? Has that been the key to that? Uh, just staying true to one another, staying true to the game plan. Uh, just trust within our coach, trust him then uh, what he what he laid out for us, or, you know, and just sticking to the script. Yes, what was what was the energy like in, in practice? Uh, since today? Yeah. I guess oh, oh yeah, the energy it, it started out kind of flat, but this that's kind of just like, kind of like how we go. But we got we kind of got going. Practice got better throughout the day. Uh, you know, we, we picked one and each other up through our practice, and it came out a uh, successful practice. What do you What do you know about Missouri? I guess they're front line guys that you'll be matching. Uh, I know that uh, there two other two guys are back. They were sitting out. Uh, the, well, they missed a few games early in the season, but uh, I know that they they're, they can shoot the ball. You know, but you know this is the SEC. Uh, any game is up for grabs. You just got to come out and compete each, each and every game. I guess, yeah, Big Tillman's 6'10 guys back, so I guess you'll probably be, be going against him, so some at least. Yep, you know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> not the first time, right? Nah, it ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> no, it's not your first time going to Missouri either. What, what kind of stands out about the atmosphere on the road there? Uh, I don't know. It's just, you don't really pay much attention to it. I don't. I just want to go there and win. I come there and compete. Win, beat them on their own court, come home with a dub. That's that's what I want. How do you guys kind of pack up the energy that you play with most of the time at home and, and take it on the road? You guys typically seem to do that. Yeah, we we kind of we we kind we kind of take it personal each game person because we we want to win. We got our own goals to you know to where we want to be in the league because you know what they had to say. We're trying to overcome that. So that's 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 kind of like our energy. We want to you know prove the doubters wrong. How do you expect Jimmy to bounce back? I know he's kind of walking gingerly with the back. He says he'll be ready Saturday. Um, I don't know if you remember this, but he went scoreless as a freshman against Mississippi State. Next game you guys play at Mizzou, he scores 15, career high at the time. Um, so he's bounced back there before. What, what do you expect from Jimmy on Saturday? Uh, I, I, Jimmy, you know, he's in the training room right now, getting you know, getting work and all that stuff. You know, with Mark O'Neill, he, which is outstanding. He makes sure we we're healthy, makes sure we're doing what we're supposed to do to get right. I honestly feel like Jimmy's gonna have a, a great game, you know, with the injury because he he just he's a vet, he he know the game and uh, and he's going home, you know he you know it's one of his last time to play compete in front of his family, so I feel like he's gonna take it personal and he's he's gonna get we're gonna get Jimmy back. I don't know that we talked to you about this before with the run that Mason's on right now. Just what can you say about the way he's played? Like uh, I'm not surprised. I'm not shocked at all because uh, throughout the summer. Uh, Everybody, you know, everybody watched Mason work. We all worked together, and uh, and to finally see it play out, you know, for him and his success and the things that he's doing in this league is very big time. And you know, people should look into that. You know, he's a, he's a very special kid, and I'm not surprised by it at all. Any, 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 any,